Mr. Grinch You really are a heel You're as cuddly as a cactus You're as charming What's up guys? Uh, welcome to a another update slash partial final reveal on my Christmas build for 2014 the George Barris custom Raiders coach and I say partial reveal partial final reveal in that uh, the vehicle the coach itself is finished I'm done with it um, maybe a little touch up work uh, but for all practical purposes the coach is finished uh, the part that is not finished is the diorama part uh, we have started I say we my subcontractor for this for this diorama is my wife uh, she, the the diorama will be and I, I won't go over it again but I, it will be uh, Santa's workshop is the part that she is she's painting and it's uh, a, just a plaster white plaster building and she's in the middle of painting that and she had she does crafts and stuff and she's been doing some Christmas flower arrangements um, uh, for you know other people for Christmas presents and what have you and she hasn't had a lot of time to devote to it but uh, some of the dioramas completed some of the scenery around the vehicle and uh, all she has left to do is just finish up the building and will be done but I want to go ahead and show you the Raiders coach because I'm going to be moving on to my next build in the next day or so and so I'm not going to wait on her uh, it, this will be done and I'll do a, a, an overall final reveal uh, when the time comes the, that, the rest of the diorama is in a 10 gallon fish tank uh, kind of similar to what I did for my Halloween build with Barnabas and the uh, rat hearse uh, there's just no way that I could I was not going to give two or three hundred dollars for a big plexiglass uh, display case with a you know a hinged lid on it and all that for uh, you know just for this coach and you know some other items but uh, the 10 gallon fish tank worked out pretty good it you know it's heavy that's the only drawback to it and this particular one I give $15 for each one of them so uh, the only thing is they do not have tots on them well uh, my all I need for a top is just something to keep dust out of it so I used uh, some glad pressing seal that I used to do paint some of my paint masking as well and the glad pressing seal works like a champ when it's sitting out display you can't even tell that there's a top on it unless you get up right next to it especially with it pressed onto the glass uh, so uh, it keeps the dust out and does its job so uh, the rest of the diorama will be finished by Christmas so uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got and uh, let you guys have a look at it. And here it is. Uh, I'm going to pull it. I'm going to pull it forward just a little bit and uh, get you situated here. Just bear with me a minute. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, I'll just run through it right quick and uh, uh, there's not a lot to it it's basically just a uh, I'll take this off just a coach with a partial car in front of it uh, the the engines are supposed to be 428 Pontiac engines so I decided it, I completely ignored the call out the painting call outs on this I just went with it was going to be you know Christmas colors was going to be the body of the coach and the car uh, and I decided this time instead of, uh, uh, you know, just doing a Christmas color for the engines, I thought, well, you know, uh, we'll go ahead and break up the Christmas colors a little bit. So I mixed up three parts, uh, what's right here, folk art metallic ice blue to one part uh, folk art metallic uh, blue sapphire, uh, three parts of the ice blue to one part. Uh, to try to come up with uh, Pontiac engine blue. I certainly was not going to go to scale finishes or somewhere like that for the paint for this build. So, and I think it came out pretty close. It, it's maybe a, maybe a half shade dark, uh, darker than Pontiac engine blue, but uh, for this it will suffice. 
uh, valve covers are just left, it's left in chrome. Uh, left the injector stack bases, the intake, left it chrome. The injector stacks themselves are simply, uh, to me, a clear orange. Uh, the lanterns for lights are, to me, a clear yellow. And I started to do the injector stacks that way with the yellow, but I decided to uh, just go ahead and do the orange. That the orange kind of it just kind of broke everything up a little bit. There's a lot of different colors on here, but uh, swing around the. I left the valve covers pretty much. Uh, I left them chrome. Uh, the chrome was pretty nice in this kit. And by the way, this kit went together really well for an AMT kit. I don't know if this is, has, has been retooled or what, but it, it certainly did not act like any AMT kit that I've ever put together. So, um, round two, you, you got this one right at least. So, at any rate, uh, the, the alternator and the... Uh, these fan housings with the fans underneath them. There's two fans underneath these housings and then the fan bases and the alternators were chrome uh, as well. Uh, so I just shot them with dull coat. Uh, on the wheels I just put uh, the centers are uh, to me a clear red, the wheel hubs. Uh, the fan, uh, the, excuse me, the chain uh, cover for this, this is a chain driven vehicle, uh, is shot with dull coat, uh, and that's pretty much it for the body, uh, for the, uh, uh, body of the vehicle other than the, the hood and the front fascia and the speak. these are speaker boxes, they are Aztec acrylic red pearl, uh, airbrushed like four coats, and then they have uh, a coat of, uh, testers wet look and then a final coating of future for uh, and I'll put probably put one more coat of future on before I put it in the case so uh, and I'll try to pick this up but this, this is not very there we go the undersides is the typical stuff just uh, I think this is Vallejo uh, silver and this is Vallejo uh, gunmetal gray for the transmission, uh, silver for the oil pan. Oh no, excuse me. The oil pans are both uh, dull coated. They were chrome. So, and then headers are both white. And I did the uh, red uh, plug wires just to kind of looks like candy cane effect. They're just a little bit. So, and then the coach. Uh, everything on the coach is. Uh, craft acrylics except for the body of the coach which is the also uh, Aztec acrylic and it's the green pearl uh, the front seat or the chauffeur seat the top cushions here uh, and then inside is uh, spice tan a delta ceram coat color uh, the interior floor the outside panels here and here are uh, the ceram coat, just ceram coat black, and they, all that has been cleared with uh, satin polyurethane. Uh, the steering wheel, the brake, uh, the gas pedal, uh, let's see what else, the uh, shifter are all chrome shot with dull coat. And then I just painted the shifter knob, the gloss white. I took the uh, the front, these lights are supposed to be like stage lights, and so I just went over uh, each light with uh, a different color of Sharpie markers. I have uh, two shades of green, an orange, a blue, a red, and a green, or uh, red, orange, blue, green, and two shades of green, yeah. Uh, so that's what I did there. Uh, the back is uh, the organ back here is just uh, I don't, can't remember what color that is I believe that's a chocolate brown Delta ceram coat yes that's what that is and then in the, you see the white with the black uh, organ keys the ceram coat white and black or I, the white is actually oyster white just for a, a, a kind of an off white color and then the 
the speaker box on the coach is the Aztec green, and then the lantern is the, to me, a clear yellow. Uh, the back wheels were two-piece. Uh, I don't like that, but these went together without a hitch, and you can't, I mean, <laughs> you can't even tell where they went together. I loaded up uh, good old-fashioned testers. Uh, no, I used Tamiya on this, I believe. Yeah, the Tamiya Extra Thin. Uh, put them together and then uh, just let capillary action do its thing once they glued together. Let them run down, mash it out. Run a little uh, light sanding across it and you can't even tell there's a seam there. Uh, so, they came out rather well and they're painted just the I believe I, t I don't believe that's ceram code. I believe I yeah that's testers uh, flat black uh, um, acryl. And I picked out the wheel hub. They are uh, the wheel hubs have the uh, testers pearl green Aztec pearl green. And I don't know if you can you can see in there the amplifier or. Uh, I guess that's an amplifier is what that's supposed to be. I just picked out the knobs with the silver and um, the control knob face is uh, Delta Ceram coat uh, black. Uh, then I put on the outside, since it's the Grinch coach for Christmas, I put just a, a candy cane and a uh, lollipop up front. I was kind of wanting to do some other stuff, but it was just hard to find anything that I was going to put some little Christmas ornaments, Christmas balls, or what have you, with some garland across there, but it was really tough to find anything even close to being in scale. Uh, and I just didn't want it you know, to look any, I didn't want it real gaudy looking uh, anyway, so I just left it like it is. So it'll look pretty good when it, uh, you'll see it with the diorama uh, in place. So, but there it is. There's the Grinch's ride for. 2014 to take the presents back to the big guy and have him fix them and let little Cindy Lou and Max the dog uh, meet the big guy and I've already had uh, some stuff out and kind of mocked up in my fish tank and it's going to be pretty cool it, it looks really cool so I uh, hope you guys will uh, enjoy that when you see it it'll probably be uh, maybe a week or two before we get completely finished and get it ready to go but I'll probably be doing a intro for my next build in the next day or so um, but for now I think that's all and one more video and I should the next one will be the final reveal of the entire build so uh, that'll be it till then uh, until I talk to you again everyone have oh one other thing uh, I want to thank all my subscribers I think I'm up to 600 and right at 650 you guys are great I appreciate it uh, I'm going to try to, when I get to, if I get to a thousand, have another giveaway uh, of some sort. So, uh, until I talk to you again, uh, take care of one another. Hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.